Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to show you how you can insert clip art images into a set of mailing labels for mail merge. Okay, so I've got a blank document ready to go, and I have a spreadsheet off uh, already prepared that has uh, about 30 people, including names and addresses and things like that. So I, I want to produce some mailing labels that have a little bit of uh, artistic flair to them with some inserted imagery. So we'll add some clip art to our labels, and it's a pretty easy process. So from my blank document, I'm going to head over to the mailings ribbon. There we go, get onto the mailing ribbons. And I'm going to go ahead and start a mail merge producing labels. And I'm going to do an Avery US letter, but I want to pick the 5160 style of mailing label. It's a popular, simple mailing label. There's usually 30 per sheet. Now it's just a coincidence that I happen to have 30 people in my name set. Uh, the procedure would be actually would be just the same whether you had 500 or 1,000 people in your data set for this particular type of label. So I'll go ahead and click OK. Now that styles my page. You can't really tell because it's a it's a table. If I click on this table selection handle though, and turn on all my borders, you'll see that you know, those are just it's just tables set up designed for the particular label that I chose. So you can keep those borders on for now if you want, but you don't need the borders. And you won't want the borders when you go to print your labels anyway. But I'll leave them on for now just so you can see them. Now I'm going to head back over to that mailings ribbon, and I need to select my recipients by using an existing list. Now I already have a spreadsheet set up, so let me jump over to my Google Drive account. I think it's in my COCC docs. Let me search by date modified. Ah, raw data for databases, that's what it is. And there's my 30 customers worksheet that happens to have the fake people and addresses on it. So go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to work in my first label. This is my design label. And you can consider this first label just kind of like a little mini Word document. You're just focused on this document. And it's got, you know, it's got margins, it's got indentations, and um, you could even put custom tabs in there if you were so inclined. Just like a tiny little document. I'm going to start off by just putting in my merge data. So I'm going to insert merge field on the mailings label here. And I'm going to put in my customer's first name, space, customer last name. I'll do a shift enter for a line break. And I'll put in the customer's address, shift enter, customer city, comma space, customer state, space, and customer zip code. Notice I also had some phone numbers and credit card information, but let's not put that on the labels. Okay, now if I were to um, update my labels, you're going to see all this data spill over into these follow-up ones. I'm not worried about that next record placeholder there, no big deal. And if I previewed my results, this is how my labels would look, and I have a full sheet of labels. Okay, I'm going to go back and turn off my borders, so I'm going to select my border selection tool back on the home ribbon and I can just go to no borders, get rid of those borders, don't need them anymore. And now I want to add a little bit more to this label. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add some clip art. So I'm still working on this top left border, or I'm sorry, top left label. I'll choose insert and I'll choose online pictures. And let's see, how about the ice cream? What do we get for some ice cream? all kinds of stuff. There we go. I like this little ice cream cone right over here. I like it especially because it's got that white background. Now, of course, at a, at a glance, I think, oh no, this really messed things up. But that's no problem. Just double click on this image and that's going to make sure that you're in the Format tab for the Picture Tools. I'm going to choose Text Wrapping and I'll choose Square. But I'm also going to crop this a bit. So I'm going to choose my Cropping Tool. And there's a lot on this ice cream cone I can get rid of even that little shadow. I don't really need that little shadow effect. So I'm going to crop it down. Just click my crop button. So now this image is a lot smaller. And if I put it over to the side, I'm in pretty good shape. Actually, having those borders would be kind of nice. So if I turn my borders back on, I have a much better view of where this ice cream cone can go in relation to 
the edge of my label. So this is looking pretty good. And if I'm back on my mailings, I can choose, of course, to um, update all the labels. And look, that ice cream cone appears everywhere. Now, I do have a concern that the city, state, and zip code may not fit on one line. So this could take some adjustment. But if I go ahead and preview my results, I'll just kind of scroll through. And I'm just looking for any labels that seem out of whack. And it looks like I'm OK for spacing. Um, there's no really long city names that are causing a, an unpleasant wrap effect. And if you don't like that little shadow effect, you can do a little. You can get a little finer work with your um, cropping, or you could do the background image removal. I just did a video on removing background images from a clip art, so I'll, I'll ask you to check that out if you're really concerned about it. But for now, I'm pretty happy with these labels. So once I feel like I'm satisfied, all I need to do is finish and merge. And I would never suggest going right to the printer. I would do edit of in individual documents, choose all. And this will give you an opportunity to get another overview. For instance, you can see that I didn't take those borders off. So close this. Don't save. Let me uh, go back home. Remove those borders. And now I will go back to Mailings, Finish and Merge, Edit Individual Documents. And now I have a set of labels that I'm a little bit more pleased with. So I can go ahead and put my more expensive label sheets in the printer and print these off. So there you go, making some labels using Mail Merge from an Excel data, data set with some clip art images included.